Good morning, all of you. Welcome to online class of Saint Joseph Academy, Mariam Nagar, Ghaziabad. Children, now, children, we are going to do the conversion of money. That is, we are going to change from rupees to paisa and paisa to rupees. As you know, one rupee has hundred paisa. That means up to ninety-nine, you can say paisa. As it becomes hundred, it is equal to one rupee. Now, whenever you are changing from bigger unit to smaller unit. This is divided and paisa is smaller unit. So you will multiply. Okay. And whenever you are changing from paisa to rupees, that means from smaller unit to bigger unit, you are going to divide. So here you will divide by 100 while you are changing the money. Now see the first question. Rupees 5, 20 paisa. Now children, this point shows the difference between the rupees and the paisa. The number before uh, point is that is your rupees and the number after that is your Pesa. So 20 pesa and 5 pesa. This you have to change into pesa. So now you will multiply this with 100. Because you are changing this to pesa. So what will happen? There are two zeros. So two zeros will keep the partnership to uh, numbers afterwards. So here you can directly write this out as 20 pesa. So point is removed. Now the B part rupees 165. 45 pesa. This again you have to change into pesa. Children, nothing you have to do. You need just multiply by 100 and remove the point. Remove the point. So it will become 160. See, 16545. So this will become pesa. This point will be removed. Now, children, see the C part question. 75 pesa. This you are changing to rupees. Okay. So because you are changing from pesa to rupees, you will divide by 100. And because it is less than 1, you will put right rupee. Okay. Now 5, 7. Then after, before this two numbers, you will put 5. And then here, at the rupees column, you will put 0. Okay. Because two zeros are here, so 1, 2, and then 5. Or whenever you are changing, uh, Passer to rupees, just count on two digit number from the right hand side and put the point. So you can easily have it. And the number before that is your rupees. Now we have 25895. Passer rupees. Just do nothing. Divide by 100. Huh? And count on the two digits from the right hand side and put the point. So now it has become 258 rupees 95 pesa. So children, in this way we will do the changes in money. Now children, we are going to do operations with money. Now we are going to solve it. Operations. Now rupees 145, 75 pesa plus rupees. 83 children now all see points should come on the same time which should be at the same symmetry. 83 rupees 15 pesa but 15 pesa this is your pesa button after the point and 83 rupees so you write in this way okay plus 9 rupees 10 pesa now 9 put the point in 10 pesa and 9 rupees start from now this is the case now you add to unit to write unit also it is compulsory now 5 plus 5 is 10. Start adding to the pesa. This is 1 10. 1 plus 10 8 to 9 and 10. So 0 here plus 1 10. Now point is that you will put the point. 5 9 plus 9 is 15. Now we can 10 plus 4 5 plus 5 plus 8 is 13. So what is your answer? Rupees 230. There is no pesa. Now the next question is 5,047. There is no pesa. After this, put the point into zero. Okay. Then subtract rupees 638. So point should come on the same. 5 pesa. 5 pesa you write like this. Then 38, 638. And you write this time. Now you subtract. Now from here you will borrow because here zero is there. You cannot take one from a borrow one from here. So you write this one 6, 4, 3, 4, 5, 3, 3, 4, 5, 3, 5. 10 minus 5 is 5, 9 minus 0 is 1. Point is 0, put the point. Now this is the 95 pesa. Now we will subtract the rupees part. From here we 
will borrow 1 and then we will become 3. So 60 minus, 60 minus 8 is 8, 3 minus 3 is 0, borrow 1 from 3, we will become 10, and 5 is equal to 2. Now just reduce 1 more. 10 minus 6 is 4, and there is no formula for so 4. It is in rupees. So what is your answer? 4,408 is 95 pesos. Now, children, see the C part question. Rupees 45, 65 pesos are not required by table. Now, learn the table by heart for this. Look at your thing. Now, A divides are 40, 0 here, 45. A sits are 48 plus 4 is 52. So, 2 here. The point is here and 5 can be. Okay. Then 8 by is 40. 40 plus 5 is 45. Okay. 8 holes are 32 plus 4 is 36. So 365 rupees 20 pesos. Okay. Then D part. Rupees 567. 20 pesos divided by 6. Now it is a rupees to the rupees to the first. Then see the first number as single digit number divisor is there. 5 is smaller than 7, so take the other number, 2 digit number, 56. 56 comes the table of 7, 8 times. 7 is the 56. So after subtracting with 0, bring the next number, 7. Save 7 under 7. After subtracting again 0, then point is there, then put the point. Then take the next number 2 here. It is smaller than the divisor. Okay, 2 is smaller than the divisor 7. So put 0 here and then bring the next number. Then 28. Now 28 comes in the length of 7, 4 times 7, 4 is a 28. So you will bring the next 0. Now what is the answer? 81 rupees 4 pesa. Children, if you don't put 0 now, it will be valued as 81 rupees 40 pesa. That means after 1, this 0 will be considered. So it is compulsory to write 0. Also, you know the difference between 4 and 40. So, this is what it shows. After point if 0 is there, it is important to mention that. So, now the next question. Now, children, we are going to make the bill. Now, you can see here, uh, Aaron bought all the toys from the top shelf of the toy shop and Abel bought all the toys from the bottom shelf. Can you make a bill for them? Now, the above here, is the, the items bought by Aaron and the below the items bought by the Abel. Now you have to make the bill for both of them. And then you have to tell whose bill is more and by how much. So let's do that. Now first the items purchased by Aaron. First item he purchased that was apple whose cost is rupees 7. Then he purchased ice cream whose cost is rupees 18. Then rose whose cost is 12 rupees. Then bananas that is of rupees 40. Now when you will add all the items you will get rupees 77. Uh, so Aaron spent 77 rupees for the items he purchased all the ties. Huh? Then Abel's bill children. So he purchased a bat whose cost is rupees 35. Then he purchased a chocolate whose cost is rupees 20. Then an aeroplane uh, toy which is cost is 25 rupees. Then a strawberry whose cost is rupees 14. When you will add all the items, you will get rupees 94. Now you can compare huh? whose bill is more. Yes, that is Abel's bill. And by how much? You have to subtract rupees 94. For, uh, that means uh, from 94, you will subtract 77 rupees. So you will get rupees 70. So 17 rupees difference is there. So in this way, we will make a bill. Now children, here see the question. Shikha bought a pizza for rupees 167 rupees 5 pesa and a burger for rupees 89 rupees 25 pesa. Okay, she bought two items. The cost is given to you. And she gave 500 rupees to the shopkeeper. How much money did the shopkeeper return? So what you will do? You just add the items what she purchased or make the bill of that item. She purchased pizza and a burger. So make the bill of that and the money she gave from that you subtract it. So that money, whatever is left, that was given by the shopkeeper. So now let's solve this question. So cost of a burger and cost of a pizza. Now 
cost of pizza is 167 rupees 5 paisa and burger is rupees 89 rupees per pizza so you now you add no so total cost of items we write it here Jerry bought three cakes for rupees one hundred and seventy. What is the cost of each cake? Each is asked. Uh, total number of cakes are three, and total money spent that was one hundred and seventy. So each cake is asked. So you will what you will do? You will do divide division. Okay. So total money one hundred and Cost of each cake. So cost of each cake. Now we need to find out. Divide it. Okay. It is one hundred and seventy. James worked eight hours every day. Okay, so number of hours he is working that is eight hours. He gets paid rupees six hundred forty-two for each hour. That means for one hour he is getting six hundred forty-two rupees. Now how much does he earns every day? That means each day what he is earning that he has to pay. So you can write money earned every day. How many hours he is working? That is eight hours. Hours of working. That is eight. So multiply because one day how much he is earning? Huh? So all the number of hours you have to find how much he is earning in a day. So one in one in a day. Eight 
much is earning per day? 5,136. And if it is asked for the month, again you multiply with 30. So you will get it. Huh? So in this way, children, we have to solve the word problems. Now it's a homework time, children. What you have to do? You have to revise chapter 11. That is lines, shapes, and design of So this you do as a homework. And I hope today's video is helpful for you. In this uh, video we learn how to do the conversion of money, how to do the operations with money. And then we made a bill also. We uh, solve the word problems based on money. With this, thank you and have a nice day.